taking a look at the Denver area right now. We do have some scattered showers all the way from Longmont through Broomfield down near Conifer as well. Here downtown, not much for us. And then out on the eastern plains or want to leave the Aurora area earlier, we had a big thunderstorm fire up, brought some heavy hail and some heavier rainfall out on the eastern plains. It continues to be fairly active, although some of these storms are starting to lose a little bit of their momentum. But near Fort Morgan right now, you'll still find some heavier rainfall, still a little bit of hail mixed in there as well. And you'll find some rain all the way down towards Deer Trail as well. Uh, to our west, we again have some scattered storms in the foothills near Vail as well, all the way through Rifle and then up near Steamboat Springs in the Craig area. Across the state again, eastern plains are fairly dry right now, but you are getting a few more clouds and we have some scattered rain in the southern part of the state as well. What we're watching for our next real weather maker, and it's not even a big weather maker, but we have this cold front that's just to our north and to our west right now. This is going to start to move through tomorrow and even late night tonight, and that's going to bring us the chance for some rain and some more thunderstorms tomorrow. Along with that, it is going to cool us off by about 10 degrees as well. So it gets a little bit cooler, but that won't last for long. We have a big end of the week warm up heading our way. Tomorrow, there is a chance for severe weather. This does include areas south of Denver, really, and then down into our southeastern plains. The northeastern plains, you may get a little bit as well. Some of these storms could again be big hail producers, bring some heavy rain and a lot of lightning around the area. Taking a look at our future cast, still expect there to be some rain and some scattered showers for the next couple of hours, but these will start to clear overnight tonight. And by tomorrow morning, we're waking up to a mix of sunshine and clouds for the northern part of the state. The rest of us should be fairly clear and sunny. And then we do have the chance again right around noon, starting to see some of those storms fire up in the foothills and the high country. And some of those could potentially head towards the front range in eastern plains as we head into the evening hours. Western slope, you'll stay dry. That goes for the high country into the night. But again, some of those storms to the south and east could turn a little bit more severe. Taking a look at our temperature change with those storms firing up, we did cool up a little bit compared to the yesterday at this time. Uh, four degrees colder in Boulder, Fort Collins in Denver, 11 degrees cooler in Steamboat, five for Avon and for Leadville. So right now we're sitting at 75 degrees, still pretty nice outside. 77 in Boulder, 78 in Fort Collins, 80 out in Burlington, 86 in La Junta, 75 in Abram right now in Aspen, and 90 still over in Grand Junction. And temperatures today, we hit 82 degrees degrees in the Denver area. 79 is our average, so not too much above where we should be. DIA hasn't updated since this morning just quite yet, so uh, that's not our official high for the day. The record's 95. We're not near that, but by the end of the week, we are going to be approaching the 90s. Tonight, 54 degrees in Denver, 56 degrees in Boulder and Fort Collins, 58 degrees out in Burlington, 48 tonight in Frisco, 62 in Grand Junction, and tomorrow will be a little bit cooler with that front passing through. So 76 degrees in Greeley, 75 in Fort Collins, 76 degrees in Denver, 80 out in Burlington, 71 in Eagle, and 91 over in Grand Junction. Now for your five-day forecast, 81 degrees on Wednesday with a chance of some storms. And then on Thursday, we're in the upper 80s, and 90s make their way to us by Friday. Whoa, 90s. <laughs>